Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we're going to be tasting the new 10-year-old Michter's Rye. This is always a big, yes. big deal. They just sent this to me the other day. And it is their straight rye whiskey. It's always their rye... 10 year olds always a single barrel mm -hmm. and it is an 80 or 92.8 proof and this is uh the product of uh dan mckee and andrea wilson uh for sure this year because pam has now been retired for a couple of years and uh so so it's those two now it's, running those, the ship. it's those two running the ship dan dan's taking over for pam Heilman and We'll see if he's doing as good a job as Pam. I'm sure he is, to be honest with you. I like now, that. Michter's is one of your one of your favorites, right? It's always consistent, especially yeah. the tenure. And yeah, I, I always like the, anything that comes out of Michter's. Uh, actually, I like the ten-year-old much better than I do the twenty-year-old. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think the 20 starts getting too woody for my taste. Gotcha. 10, 10 year to 15 year? It's kind of a sweet spot, maybe? Yeah. Or yeah. Maybe a little less than 15. Actually, I, yeah, I say any, anything between 8 and 12. 8 and 12? Yeah. So, let's nose this one. Mm -hmm. You can tell this is a, their Michter's contract distilled rye still. You know, because their distillery hasn't been open for 10 years yet. So right. this is some whiskey that they've had. But now they're starting to put out some of their own stuff in their younger... Right. And, and their regular brands, uh, uh, a lot of it is... Um, their juice now. Their juice. And I'll tell you, I tasted some of the rye the other day at, a, uh, at an event. Mm -hmm. And I thought the, uh, um, the rye has had some flavor drift, but it's been flavor drift in a good way. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, that's I, always good when it's going up. It's yeah, like downhill. Yeah, yeah. I I think uh, uh, they're making a lot better uh, ride than what their contract distiller was making for them. <laughs> <laughs> they get complete control now. You know? Yeah, they yeah. get complete control. I mean, this just smells yeah. amazing. Now you get that rye grass, but it's just in the background. It's not like in you know the younger rye. But you get a lot of oak. A lot of oak. A little caramel vanilla, a hint of citrus. And what do you think? Nutmeg? I go nutmeg, yeah. Maybe even a hint of cinnamon in there. Yeah, maybe a little allspice. Mm -hmm. So let's Sounds taste great. it. Oh, yeah. It's exceptional. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't get it on those, but on the taste, I'm getting a little bit of like cherry. Oh yeah, cherry. I'm, I was getting like for me, it was getting like a little red delicious. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, vanilla, hint of caramel, red delicious. Um, yeah, may, maybe a little more floral spiciness, maybe mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, on the taste, I was getting getting vanilla, cherry, oak. Mm -hmm. And probably allspice. And in the finish, I can see where you get the red delicious because I'm getting that apple on the side of my tongue here. Again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just, now I just got a little bit of cherry there right in the front. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. This stuff is just so good. <laughs> yeah. I it's mean, always good whiskey. It is always good. You know, it can be kind of hard to find. You know, they sure. only release a certain amount of it every year, but... Uh, uh, it can be found. Yeah. So let's cleanse our palate. Let's see what a cranberry does for it. It really mm -hmm. brought out the vanilla. Mm -hmm. That's what, exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Vanilla. Matter of fact, the oak almost goes away. Yeah. It's like vanilla, and I'm getting a little cherry there. Yeah. Um, it's 
really it makes it really it sweetens it up. Yeah, yeah. Very short finish though. Very short finish. I mean, I'm not, I'm getting the the minimal amount of oak yeah. on the finish. And you, you know, like that tartness you get a little bit when you have like a good not too tart kind of lemonade. Yeah. You know, that's kind of what what I was getting like right there. Um, just not not too bitter, just the right amount of sweet. I mean, mm -hmm. just very very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. So that would make a good whiskey sour, I bet. All right. Could be. Let's see what a pecan does for it. Oh, that caramel's back now. Mm hmm I mean, well, it's not vanilla so much. It's more caramel, maybe even a little bit of a chocolate. Mm hmm Particularly on the finish. And maybe like a dark cherry. Yeah. Sweet I cherry. Think, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, before I was getting like a tart cherry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I could see it maybe a sweet cherry. Yeah, like a cherry soaked in from a Manhattan or something. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, that's great stuff. Yeah. Well, let's... Let's try it with a little chocolate. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Lots of caramel. Lots of caramel. Yeah. And for the first time, I'm really getting a lot of rye grass. Mm-hmm. A little oak. A little, a little leather, oak. you know, like... A little leather. Yeah. And the spices are definitely kind of an all-spice. Not not real strong cinnamon or nutmeg or anything. It's, you know, like all-spice. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's just... So good. The finish is just still go yeah, yeah. The finish is just still so going. Good. Yeah. If you can find one of these bottles, you yeah. gotta pick it up. That's I mean, right. They, they every year they make an exceptional tenure. You know. Yeah. Like this has been out like pretty much the last what five years at least. They've been doing like ten. Oh, I th I think it's been longer than that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's been at least seven or eight years since they've mm. been doing they've been doing a ten year. Um, but this one, you know, we just got it uh, Sunday, I think yeah, it was. I think, yeah, I think you shot a picture of it and sent it over on Sunday, yes. I mean, yeah. man, so, what a great Sunday that would be. Yeah. <laughs> the sweet bottle of the 10-year-old, yeah, so. Yeah. So, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to our blog and... Yeah, like this video. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, Here's the Mictors. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Keep up Mictors. the good work. <laughs> <laughs>